All right, everyone. In today's episode, I'm going to do something different again. I'm going to prepare sauerbraten, but it's actually not going to be sauerbraten because in the original German dish, you have to marinate the beef. So you have a nice lean uh, joint of beef, which you marinate for three to six days in red wine vinegar and wine. And then you make a sauce with vegetables and you would serve it with potato dumplings. But in my version, I'm going to try something completely new for me. I'm going to try to replace the beef joint with sirloin steak so i'm not going to marinate the steak for too long um, just about half an hour um, i've got two beautiful thick um, sirloin steaks and let's hope for the best who knows maybe it's not going to work maybe it's going to work i think it's going to work um, i tried to get all the ingredients that would be traditional however I'm not able to buy um, ginger biscuit or proper um, bread to thicken up the sauce I've got alternative things and who knows it's going to work I think it's going to work so anyway so I'm going to start with marinating the steaks for which I'm going to use red wine. Don't need too much, eh, this much. And red wine vinegar. And the beef is supposed to be sour, so obviously that's why it's called sour. I remember tried this dish when I was an exchange student in about 30 years ago in uh, München um, and I didn't like it back then but I was only 12 so my palate wasn't ready for it okay that's my steak marinating first step is done the second step is going to be to start to do the potato dumplings for which I have four medium sized potatoes, these I'm going to bake off. And that's gonna take about half an hour and then I can start to do my sauce as well. And also I'm going to serve this dish with red cabbage. So we have some kraut as well. For the sauce, quite straightforward. I'll just chop everything up. So I'm using carrots, leeks, onions, sweet onions. I'm also using garlic, which I don't think is traditional. Celery and let's start with this. And I'm just using some olive oil to start it for a change. Got a nice Spaten beer from uh, München as well. Cheers, everyone. Okay, so this is ready for the veg. Oh. I just lost the carrot. This dish was requested by one of 
uh, my viewers and I thought to myself um, okay let's try it but obviously I'm going to have a twist because what's the point for me to replicate um, the same dish again the many recipes I found doing the original version um, seasoning I'm going to use bay leaf juniper berries cloves I'm going to add some parsley as well I will definitely use some beef stock because obviously in the original dish you would cook the beef in the stock for about three hours which I'm going to miss so I need to replace the um, flavor okay. I'm just going to brown off the vegetables to get the most flavor and this might be way too much garlic actually I just use one for now and seasoning juniper berries don't need too much juniper berries are very very pungent I just use five cloves again not too much one bay leaf and some thyme all going smells amazing already as always I'm going to add the stock and I'm going to reduce it completely and by doing this as I said I'm not going to miss out on the flavor that would have gone into the sauce using a whole joint this can reduce I can start to do the cabbage so meanwhile I'm going to start to work on the red cabbage garnish for which I'm chopping some onion for the base and I'm going to add the second clove of garlic to the cabbage as well Do I need a whole cabbage? Probably not. I'll just use half of the cabbage. Okay, for the cabbage, I'm just going to slice it. it real simple stuff okay cabbage is done nice just cook off the onions first okay the onions are done you can transfer the cabbage and chop the garlic now there are many ways to chop a garlic or sometimes I don't even chop it just do like this uh, so 
chop the garlic simples and uh, just paste it slightly that's it and quickly clean my chopping board is getting reduced nicely I'm just going to season the cabbage with salt and pepper forget about the parsley I'm going to use half of the parsley for the sauce should I? yeah actually no I'm going to use one third of the parsley for the sauce one third of the parsley for the cabbage and the remaining one third I'm going to mix in with the dumplings Shopping board. We'll tidy up in a minute. Let's focus on the cabbage and the sauce. Get ready for the steaks. So that's quite enough time to marinate the steaks. All right. I'm going to add the remaining sauce well most of it to the base and a tiny bit of it to the cabbage to the boil let's see what it tastes like yeah nice and vinegary yeah I understand why people add um, raisins to this to balance the um, the sourness with the sweet which is why we have the ginger cookies and of course um, if you cook off the red cabbage that's going to be sweet as well 
so it's going to balance the flavor yeah I get it I will add some should I maybe it's too, too much I'm going to add a bit more beef flavor to this using beef stock just going with half for now Oh yeah, the whole thing, I know it, obviously I was missing out the um, beef flavor. Add a bit more water to the cabbage. does need more salt cabbage needs more seasoning uh, use some of the salt and pepper seasoning and I'm not going to season the beef so the steaks uh, the seasoning for the steaks is the marinade and it actually penetrated the um, the beef quite well. It's quite amazing. And make sure that this is dry. So the steaks are quite dry. Nice. Make sure that I get all the flavor out. Okay, I'm going to use the same pan to make sure that I get all the liquid out of this. Okay, so that's step one with the sauce is done. What I'm going to do, as I said, is once I'm ready with the steak, I'm just going to reheat this and sear the steaks, leave the steaks in here so they get uh, cooked nicely. And once I'm done with that step, I'm going to take out the steaks and add some double cream to the sauce. And then the sauce is going to be finished with probably some of the cookies. going to transfer it into a bowl. And I use the same pan to do the steaks. Ok, 
Okay, just add, uh, just going to put some cling film over the cabbage because so now it's half past. Everything depends on the potato dumplings now. That is going to take the longest to make. So for now, uh, just wait for the potatoes to be ready. Once the potatoes are ready, then I'm going to seal the steaks and then we go from there. Alright guys, so potatoes are done, they are cooked nicely, quite dry actually, I did purposely overcook the potatoes so that there is very little um, water left inside. I'm going to start to do the steak, I'm reheating the sauce, I will bring it to the boil, then turn it off, obviously I'm using cast iron so that's going to keep the temperature well. I am only going to sear the steaks just to give it some nice color and straight away is going to go in the pan. Meanwhile I'm going to do the potato dumplings. Okay, just getting all the flesh out from the potatoes. spread it out so it cools down quick so I can add my egg and my parsley I'm just going to add some salt to the dumpling mix and as I said just spread it out so it's going to cool down faster. So the potatoes are cooling down. So I can add one egg. And mix it up. And I'm not adding any anything else. I'm not adding any starch or anything else. This is my mix. And this is what I'm going to work with. Perfect. this is done I can get on with this steak now I think the steak yeah this is near to boiling point so I can turn it off this steak is going to smoke quite a lot so I'm going to turn on the extraction and I'm just adding some olive oil to the steak but not to the pan. I'm also going to start with rendering the fat.
So what I'm trying to achieve is to sear the steaks. That's it. Okay, so as you can see, I can turn this one off, doesn't help anyway. The steaks are only just seared, they are not cooked at all, and I just leave them in the sauce. That's it. So everything is turned off. This is going to cook the steak fully. I'm done with this pan and I can get on with the potato dumplings. So I've got my boiling water. I'm just going to add some salt to it. And this is ready for the dumplings. Okay, so my water is boiling, happy days. I can get on with the dumplings. Just going to turn the steak. Let's just get some water. I've got a tiny one, I'm going to test the water with this one. Eh? Coño! This didn't work, obviously. Okay. Plan B. I need a plan B. My original plan didn't work. Unfortunately, I will have to go with plan B. So potato dumplings will be deep fried. So the potato dumplings I'm going to turn into croquettes. For frying the what's supposed to be dumplings now going to be croquettes. I'm going to use the beef tunnel, which is my preference. I guess I didn't add any flour or corn flour to the mix, so it didn't work. But this happens, that's quite fine, it's quite alright. Okay, just one egg.
done. Okay, uh, deal with this later. So let's check anyway. Perhaps if I turn the probe on. Yeah, that's it. This is there. So I can add the dumplings, or in my case, croquettes. Time to check on the steaks. Let's see where we are. Nice. We are at rare at the moment, which is nice to see. I might increase the temperature slightly to get to medium rare, which is my preference. Finish these dumplings slash um, croquettes and plate up. Just need to reheat my red cabbage, which I'm going to use Chef uh, Mike for. Perfect for this purpose. Thank you Chef Mike for your contribution. I have to press start. See where we are at. Almost there. Okay, so I'm ready for the dumplings to take out. Okay, so the oil is still hot and I think what I'm going to do is, yes, definitely, I'll take the steaks out. So the steaks are done. Let's see where we are at. Yeah, so not quite there, but what I'm thinking to do is to finish the steaks in the hot oil, just to sear them up again. Um, my sauce is, let's just move this for a while, hot oil, how is my sauce doing? Oh, smells amazing, wow! Mm -hmm. Not too vinegary either. Anymore. It definitely needs something to thicken it up. So I'm just going to add some double cream. I'm going to try to add some of the cookies. See what happens. Uh, go in with two to thicken the sauce. This is interesting, to say the least. Let's see if I can get any more of this, yes. Mm. 
Nice. And make sure that the sticks are dry. This is a very interesting experiment, to say the least. Okay. Okay, I'll just finish the sauce. get the cookies nice interesting how the um, sweetness from the cookies comes out Oh wow, that is so nice, I can use one more. Okay, how are we doing? You really need the sweetness from the um, biscuits to balance the sourness of the vinegar gets better and better wow i think this is going to be the last one yeah so the sauce is done So just to finish the steaks. done with this okay guys so this is Sauerbraten my way um, obviously if you want to see a traditional recipe don't come to my channel because I like to experiment and I like to do things my way so we just have some red cabbage That's it. Couple of dumplings slash croquettes. And let's see the steak. I'm curious. Is it going to be awesome or is it going to be a disaster?
No, nice. Yeah, buddy. Wow. I was aiming for a uh, medium rare, but this is actually rare, which I'm happy with. Okay, guys, look at that. And this is Sauerbraten my way. What do you think? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't get too upset that I've um, done Sauerbraten in a completely different way. Um, going to sit down and taste this now. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I shall see you in the next one. If you have any suggestions what I should do next, let me know. And let's see what happens. Guys, thank you for watching. And see you on the next one.